Yo, what's good YouTube? We back with another video and this video is for my people that use the Go XLR. We're going to cut the start of the video to say um, this is the website you use to download the Go XLR. So you go to the website. I will make sure I put the link in the, um, the description, but you go to product and you find Go XLR. So you have to download the first one, which is the app, and then download the most recent audio driver, which um, is the third one, basically. After you do that, uh, you want to open your sound settings. So on your sound settings, they should look somewhere like this now. I have mine set up for system and chat. Chat mic. So system is the output is where all your sound will go through for the computer. And then chat mic is your microphone. And you have to go to more sound settings. I personally cut everything else off so it doesn't switch. But you want to right click and then it says like, Make make default device, but since mine's already the default, like it's right, it says set as default device. But since it's already default, you don't have to set it. Well, I didn't have to set it. And then you go to recording. You want your chat mic to be the default communication device, which is that. After that, then you just go back to the app and really just set everything up which I'm going to be transferring it back to the app right now so you can finish and see what you need to do to set it up. Okay, so I'm not too familiar with the Go XLR. I just know how to use it, right? But I'm going to give you the basic steps to really use it. I personally just have mine on default for the mic, but I have an XLR mic, but I have it on default. And these are the settings I use. So my mic, I use a condenser. A lot of people use dynamic, but I, dynamic doesn't work for me specifically. So I have to use condenser and my gain is on 30. Okay. And then for the gate, I have the threshold on negative 37, whatever this word is on hundred, the attack on 10 and the release on 200. So then we're going to push the equalizer, right? So I have my enable fine tune on, but the equalizer, I'm just going to run through the numbers up top. And then the bottom. So the numbers up top is going to be 30, 63, 125, 250, 0.5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. And for the numbers at the bottom, it's negative 2, 4, 4, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0, 4, 6, 5. And that's it for the equalizer for me. Now the compressor for the threshold, um, I have a negative 25. The ratio is 5, 6, 1. Attack on 2 release on 15 and then makeup gain on 10. Now for this one right here, I have it at zero. Now, if you ask me, what does this stuff do? I don't have the answer for you. I'm not really that knowledge upon it. I'm just giving you the settings that work for me. Okay. But most of these settings I gave to somebody else and they didn't have a problem. Okay. So now we're going to go off of the mic. We're going to go to the mixer. So the mixer is basically the stuff on your board, which is this stuff, right? So on my board, I have mine set up as the mic, the voice chat, music, and system. So I don't use game, console, line in, or samples. The ones I use is mic, chat, um, system, and music. Now the bleep is for like when you want to do this right here. So like, say you're talking and you just want to keep it off. And then for my outputs, my line out is at zero headphones on zero mic monitoring is on a hundred. Now we're going to go to the configuration. And that's really just like what you want for channel one. Like for instance, my channel one is mic, and the option. If you tap the button is muted. Um, I don't use this, so I don't know what this does. So on to the next the effects. These are these over here, right? So my number one is a big echo effect. And if I, but what you have to do is tap the FX for the effects to start working. Once you Once tap you it, it, it'll change this color. But as you hear my voice change due to these effects, due to these effects. And now if I click two, it's going to switch it, right? Now we're on another sound effects, which it says big verb on the bottom. And comms radio. R-tune. Tank. 
Now, if you wanted to, you could also play with the knobs, and this is how it sounds, right? So really, the effects tab, you don't have to do much because you can control it on your Go XLR, but it's basically this right here, okay? Now, for the samplers, the samplers are your sound effects. So basically, if you already don't know, um, you go get your sound effects, and then when you get them, you're going to click this button right here. And that button opens the XLR folder, and you can put all your sound effects in here. And then basically what you do is you drag the sound effect over here. So when you tap, for instance, this is the top left, which is this button. When I tap it, this is what it's going to do. Now me personally, what I do, I usually leave one blank because for instance, this isn't a sound effect that's off the internet. If you leave one blank, you could pre-record stuff of like people talking in the game, this, that, and the third. But I'm going to show you how to do it. But basically, this is a, a replay of someone I know. I see it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I clip people's voice and I use it while I'm playing with them. And then now we go to the lighting. I keep mine simple, bro. If y'all want to go crazy, y'all can go crazy. This is just the lighting for everything. It gives you... The chance to switch the color of everything is you know but it's really on you me personally i keep everything on none because i just like my basic so for the routing this is the best routing setting for me and is comfortable for me now the line out i use it because i stream on a dual pc and if y'all are ever interested on one and know how to connect two pcs just drop a comment and I'll make another video for y'all. But this is for the two PC setup. You really don't need this section if you're not streaming to another system or something. But if I tap mic, I'm going to hear my own voice in my headphones. So basically, headphones is your headphones, right? And anything that's tapped on is what you will hear in your headphones. Anything that's tapped on a broadcast stream mix is what the broadcast stream mix is going to hear. And the line out is what the line out is going to hear, which is I have it set up for another computer. And that's why I use this because it gets sent to the other computer. Now, for the samples, which this is your sound effects, it's, it's a sample. So you have to have this on in order for the people like on the other side of the headphones to hear your um, sound effects and stuff. And also you want to have the first one on for your mic. Now, the sampler. So you know how I told you you could pre-record someone. So basically you would tap the clear and then clear one of the tabs. So I'm going to do it. And I basically cleared this one. Now it's white. So now basically if I keep talking, but I hold this button, it's going to record me talking and watch this. But I hold this button, it's going to record me talking and watch this. So basically I recorded my voice and I played it back, but you can record anyone's voice. But to make sure it does right, make sure the chat is checked on sampler. Now, I don't know why I have music checked, but it is what it is. Okay. And then system is if the tutorial, I basically just give you a run through, help support, see if the software has to update, just stuff like that. Now, after you're done setting up your XLR, you could go up here and give it a name. For me, for instance, we're just going to rename it as who is Cobra. So this is my main one is who is Cobra. And when you get off your computer, you can put your XLR to sleep and it's going to do this. And then when you cut it back on, everything would get cut back on. And also this button right here is to save active user profile, create a new user, copy an active user profile. So if you save one, and you, for instance, move computers or something and you can't find your account, but you have it on a flash drive. I mean, your profile, but you have it on a flash drive. You could just copy it off this and this deletes it. So me personally, I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. Or this one. I'm good with the sleep and this. And honestly, that's just, that's it for the setup of the Go XLR. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. 
And if y'all ever need videos like this, you could just drop a comment. And if I know how to do it, I will just let you guys know in a video. And I appreciate y'all for coming. Make sure you drop a like, share, and subscribe. It will help the channel. And other than that, man, y'all have a blessed day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.